the worst thing that you probably can do or I can do is look to follow up the action from the last game uh, probably need to knock that on the head and basically say look I'm starting this game afresh I know nothing about the game wipe the slate clean and look at it with new fresh eyes look at it like I am a beginner in chess as always because the more information I have in my head the more then I'm going to say well I'm expecting the opponent to do this because of my experience in this game that does hold you in good stead it's just that it can also make you make the wrong move because you're expecting the opponent to make a certain move or respond in a certain way so in order to really make your moves your own really bring in the fact that you want to start from scratch at every game no opinion about starting with a, oh i'm starting with a rye lopez or or i know that this is a sicilian or i know that this is like a queen's gambit king's gambit whatever you know king's indian all those types of things forget those that's not you what's happening in this game i'm taking this knight off the board it seems appropriate at this time to take the knight off the board i don't care what it looks like I can look at it afterwards and the machine will work out what i've actually done I'm actually going to attack this knight as well because I've got sights of the knight jumping here and coming to this pawn as well if I'm allowed to then it's attacking the queen but maybe not too early I might put a bit of support with it bring the queen here supporting on that angle if I'm allowed to it just looked pretty pretty good because it's by itself it's single so it can't do it by itself it needs some support if my opponents are asleep and they allow us to get these positions which they're not you know so the knight can jump here and put attack on the higher piece which is the queen it's still not protected as my knight but it's ready to come back to this position here so fairly comfortable with that and whatever opening that is i don't care his queen has come through still attacking the knight so like we said we're bringing the knight to this position here so his queen is all nice and airy for us now. So just reacting to what is happening on the board. And it's not about reacting as well. It's um, if you want to try and manage what's going on there, then yeah, go out, go out and manage what's going on, um, happening on the board, depending on what the opponent is doing. Rook is attacking this pawn, so he's expecting my pawn bishop maybe to be getting distracted castle while i'm thinking so they've king is still stuck in the center of the board queen is in the center of the board we're not chasing anything down yet the rook has cut oh my word this is like um this is proper give up chess now isn't it just going to develop the bishop look for a discovered check through onto his queen nice quiet move then the knight can jump here attacking the knight attacking the rook so if the queen moves we get something so no major four process has gone into those i'm treating it as a new game which it is fresh with what is happening on the board knight can go here like we said attacking two pieces well three pieces Oh, then it's left the bishop there and it does happen it happens all the time so um bishop's taken it might be method in his madness his rook's taken um gonna pin through here to his his rook don't need to rush anything now their seconds are running out a little bit the king is still a bit airy Bishops down, attacking the queen. Smaller piece attacking the higher piece. Yeah, do you see this? I'm not putting much thought into these obvious moves that that need to be made. Captures, capture with the queen. Queen's going up and put putting a touch on the king. Leave the white square bishop all jammed in. Let's just go here. 
Knight can take the pawn. I'm going to take the knight now. Take the bishop. And then we're on the rook. The rook has got no defense. Let's capture. They're on two seconds, one second. Okay. Okay, that was a, a nice example of just basically dealing with what is actually happening on the board.